<laughs> what do you think about our dining hall? I love it. Slash the tea. So we finally took possession of the boat. Yep. So, uh... We were pleasantly surprised by the seabirds. Picked her up on Sunday, right? Got her on Sunday evening. Mm -hmm. And uh, moved her stuff on and spent the first night. Our oh, harbor. Yeah. Oh yeah, our bed turned out pretty nice. Slept really good. Mm -hmm. uh, Monday through Thursday we spent... Cleaning. Cleaning. And more cleaning. And more cleaning. Inventory. Provisioning. And you named it, we cleaned it. But yeah, we cleaned it top to bottom, inside and out. After four days of working on the boat, getting used to it, doing a little shopping, you know, we gotta get it out. We gotta get it out and try it. Um, so you planned our first, I guess, not day sale, but weekend. Yeah. Uh, we're in Fort Pierce. We left the marina here mm -hmm. um, and headed south to West Palm Beach. Out the inlet, inlet wasn't too bad. I mean, we did a little bounce on, you know, the front end sprayed a couple times. Set the sails, sailed all the way down to West Palm. How's the first sail going? Awesome. Yeah, cruising, huh? Oh yeah, I love this boat. And she loves 20 knot mile an hour winds. Sweet. Forecast was three to five foot seas, yeah. 15, 20 knot winds, maybe gust higher. A little rougher than I expected. Um, boat did great, but if you tried to get up and move around, you know, you were you felt like you were going to fall over a few times, but the boat didn't feel like it was unsteady. I loved it. Well, we had in the in the low 20s wind, 22 to 25, I'd say pretty consistent. Which, and she was cruising right yeah, along. Yeah. She, perfectly, happily. She yeah. was doing her thing. We had full mainsail, we had full staysail, and we had probably... 70 or 80 percent of the Genoa out and in those lower 20s she did great um just cruising right along you know seven knots or so so we got all the way down to the inlet without turning without tacking at all i laughed when we got the inlet it's like we're pulling the sails in and turning the motor on heading in the inlet and we hadn't even seen if we could tack you know try to get this uh Genoa to go through between the uh, uh, staysail and uh, you know the roll, roll of curling on the staysail. We didn't even try it, but anyway, so we pulled into uh, West Palm Beach into the inlet and got in and found an anchor spot just before dark. Right. So it's a total of maybe 60 mile trip. Lots mega of mega yachts. yachts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it was interesting just to see all the boats. We uh, windless works, but I'd never ever ever pushed a button for the anchor to just mm -hmm. drop. That was insane. The, on the bulletin board, it had the different colors for the depth on the chain, so you can see how much you were letting out, right? Because you've got to let a certain amount out. They call it scope to have good holding. And so I have Amanda on the front, and she's dropping chain, and I'm telling her, you know, holler at me when you see colors. And 
she's going, 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 and she's telling me colors, and the colors aren't making sense. So I run down and look at the chart, and it's like, yeah, those colors you're telling me aren't on this chart. And they were <laughs> barely colors. It worn off ridiculously. So anyway, we, we got it a good 100 feet or better out, and probably about 120, and it held like a rock. Mm -hmm. Spent the night, next day we ended up staying the whole day on the boat, watching the traffic go by, reading manuals, trying to figure out systems. Yeah. Um, you know, we were already five days on the boat, where there were still things we hadn't done yet. And there are still things we haven't done yet. Yeah, <laughs> and so that, that was Saturday night, and one of the big things we did Saturday night that turned out so awesome, a hot shower. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Never had a hot shower on a boat before. What a nice shower Oh, experience. it was amazing. So anyway, that, that was wait, a Wait, wait, where do we normally take our showers? In a bucket. <laughs> In the <laughs> cockpit. Right. Sponge bath. Yeah. So, so I mean, a hot shower? Oh my goodness. Yeah, it was really sweet. Of course, Amanda cooked some great meals. We had a steak dinner one mm -hmm. night. And so then Sunday morning we got up pretty early um, and started heading back north. Uh, lighter wind, so I was a little worried then about whether we'd get back by daylight. So we a came whole in. lot lighter winds. Yeah, so we got out in uh, lower seas. We had two to three foot with 10 to 15 winds, and we saw more like eight to 10. Yeah. Um, and we were moving along okay as long as we had 10 plus knots. When it got below 10, with a disturbed sea state bouncing around, it just really wasn't worth it. Did some motor sailing and motor sailed really. Oh, yeah. seven plus knots just low rpm and it's quite a joy so we motor sailed back got back about 3 30 in the afternoon yep. to fort pierce inlet yep and then we well we, we got we had to explore the tack oh yeah yeah just before we <laughs> came in we decided hey we're not putting this boat up without tacking right so we did i think six tacks yep one failure yeah, Five first, successful. Yeah, the first one, uh, the Genoa got plastered to the staysail and didn't want to go around. Yeah. So it ended up starting the engine and uh, turning the boat and, and resetting and trying again. And after that, it was fine. You just have to kind of learn the sequence and the timing. And um, so the Genoa switched sides, no problem. The staysail and the mainsail are self tending. You don't do anything with those. Right. Um, so we did about five or six tacks, and then we came in the inlet. We got into the inlet, decided to stay just right outside of the channel, drop the anchor At again. At Fort Pierce. Yeah. Dropped the anchor again, and it was the beginning of spring break. So boats, jet skiers, people everywhere having yep. fun. Police were out there pulling over the jet skiers. Yeah. So then we decided, hey, we hadn't tried the dinghy yet. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> so put some gas in the outboard, pulled the cord twice, I think once, maybe twice, it started right up. He's yep. like, okay, well that works. Let's drop the dinghy, put the motor on the dinghy, let's cut across the inlet. Wait, wait, cause we're hungry. Yeah, let's cut across. And I'm tired of cooking. Yeah, well, we needed something to do in exploration. Right. So we shot across the channel, across the inlet to a restaurant. Was it Chuck's? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So I think, yeah, I've got my little motor running. I've got the oars with me, but I got my little motor running. I think I'm just going to buzz up and hit the beach. There's no dinghy dog. I'm just going to pull right up on the beach 
you know, you've got an outdoor patio and an outdoor uh, deck where everybody's eating. And it's a sophisticated restaurant. Yeah. It's, Everyone's there in their, what, Saturday night best. Yeah, it's spring break, so it's the beginning of their week, you know, and they're all out for their big seafood dinner. Yeah. So I come motoring up, buzzing along in this little dinghy, and of course the prop starts banging and hitting the sand <laughs> probably 75 feet before we get to the beach. Yeah. So I got to shut it off and then try to row. Up. Never... And wait, wait, you've never rowed before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But hey, I didn't embarrass her, did I? No. No, okay. you did good. So as we... As we come into the beach, I mean, the crowd on the patio and the balcony, they're all just staring at us like, where did these people come from? And what yeah. are they doing in this little dinghy? Right. And as we pull up on the beach. I've got my socks and shoes on in the dinghy, and I'm realizing that someone's got to get out. So mm -hmm. I immediately take my socks and shoes off, and I stand up to kind of pull the dinghy up, and it's only barely up to my ankles. I mean, it, it is shallow. Yeah. And so I pull the dinghy up. I pull up, and, and some of the people are standing up at their table watching, you know, trying to see over the balcony, like, what is that little boat doing? Where does people come from? Mm -hmm. And so they're just staring at us. So I do one of these. And then a few of them kind of lighten up and clap. I give them a thumbs up, you know. And the one guy comes down to kind of greet us. And I'm like, this is every man's dream. <laughs> <laughs> so we pulled it up on the beach and went up and... Uh, caught a late din dinner and then motored back out to the before dark yeah when we, well it was so busy when we got there we wanted to eat but it was so busy and we're watching the sun come down it's like okay we told the waiter appetizers are fine just give us a salad and some oysters